to today's video. I'm actually like super excited. This is a really chill video. I mean, it's probably like, yeah, it's like one o'clock in the morning. I am sick as a dog. I have been sick for the past few days. I've had some type of like upper respiratory infection going on. No, I do not have COVID, um, but I have some products in the mail and I'm so excited to try them with you guys. This is from the brand Oliver, I believe it's called. Um, I just want to thank them so much for sponsoring today's video. I feel like this is going to be a, so much fun. Today I'm going to be testing out some eye mask like patches that go underneath of your eyes. And then this is actually a magnetic mask. I have actually never tried a magnetic mask and I am so excited for this. I feel like this is going to be so cool and so much fun. I've seen these all over the social media and all over the internet. All over TikTok, like this has been everywhere. There are several different brands that have magnetic masks, and one of those being e.l.f. They have drugstore ones, more expensive ones. That they mean, I've seen some that are even like $1,500, $75, and then like the cheaper ones from just like the drugstore too. So um, I've never heard of this brand though, so I am really, really excited. I believe you can actually get pick this up from Amazon. I don't quote me on that though, but I'm pretty sure these are from Amazon. But you can also get them from their website and I'll have everything linked down in the description box for you guys so you guys can check them out if you guys want to. So we're gonna go ahead and toss one of these on. I feel like I need a small mirror to see. Alright, so we have these on. They actually feel really good, like nice and cooling and refreshing. This I feel like would be like amazing after like first getting up, like after a hot shower and you're doing like your skincare routine or just like I don't know how to describe it, but it just feels so good. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and leave these on for a little bit. I'm going to see how long I'm supposed to leave them on for. It says, clean face, remove the mask with a tweezer or spatula. Apply the mask under the eye area. Gently pat the mask to make sure it is fixed in place. Leave it for 20 to 30 minutes. Remove the mask and massage any excess cream until skin fully absorbed. I feel like this could have been a lot better if I used this after the um, magnetic mask, but that's okay. We're going to leave these on. This does say it is a plant-based collagen with natural extracts and vitamins work together to stimulate and regenerate skin cells and minimize signs of skin aging and sun damage. Um, the aloe vera eye mask is formulated to target dark circles, eye bags, and smooth wrinkles and the appearance of fine lines around the eye area definitely need because my eyes are just beyond dry first of all and I have horrible dry or uh, dark circles so I feel like I need these in my life. It is a combination of hyaluronic acid and mide. I said that incorrectly. Um, pearl powder and micro gold particles they work to, to ugh, they work together to restore soothe and improve skin elasticity. This is really cool. And so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. Go ahead and like rub the excess in. Man, those feel really good. It makes my under eyes feel like really hydrated. But anyway, so here is the magnetic mask. I'm really like interested and intrigued. Let's go ahead and dive into this sucker. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and test this out. I'm so excited. Again, I'm sick, so excuse my voice. I know you guys probably don't even care, but like. I feel like I sound just so like congested and just so gross, but anyway, this is a moisturizing and shiny, colorful, luminous mud mask is what it claims. It did come with like this little spatula thing. I guarantee you that this is not going to work for me. I'll probably end up using my fingers or something because I feel like this is just so tedious. <coughs> Excuse me. I just feel like this tiny little mask is going to be like super tedious and just like way too much work, but we can try it out. I feel like it'll be fine, but I don't know how healthy this is to put on your face. I mean, the fact that you can pull it off with a magnet, I don't I don't know. I'm really curious to like to know the ingredients and like stuff, but I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> 
It's actually, the texture seems like really, really nice. It seems super moisturizing. It doesn't seem like drying at all. So let's go ahead and apply the mask. Oh, it feels like really good. I don't know how to describe it, but like, it feels like whipped cream, but like mask version. Oh, I totally just dropped that on myself. It doesn't have the greatest smell in the world. Like, it's not like, ooh, that smells good. It's just like, I don't know. So I was correct. That little tool was so tedious, you guys. It was just like, it took forever, but I ended up doing it with a tool anyways because I really didn't want to get my hands super dirty. Um, yeah, so I ended up using the tool. This is what it looks like. I think this mask is supposed to dry like 100%. If you guys can kind of see, it looks kind of like oily or glossy, and I don't know if this is supposed to like dry and get hard or anything, um, just because I feel like it's supposed to be more of like hydrating and luminizing versus like... A clay mask where it's supposed to like really harden up and dry up and like I don't know it's supposed to be just more of like pulling out the toxins and all the dirt and grime out of our pores but at the same time it's really supposed to like help hydrate and like make our skin look really glowy and dewy and just like new skin if that makes sense but um, I think this is so cool like this is probably one of the coolest things I've owned as far as skincare goes it actually does come with this like tiny little magnet I probably shouldn't hold it too close <laughs> um, but I've seen people actually cover their magnet with like a little plastic cover. That way it's just like easier cleanup. That way if you were to like pick up um, the mask with the magnet, you can just easily like pull this off and then it's clean again. So um, I have a few pieces of plastic that I'm going to use to um, take off the mask when we're ready. But I'm so excited. I think this is so cool, you guys. It's so fun. So, I read the box. The box says to only put um, this on and leave it on for about five to 10 minutes. Um, it also said to only put on a thin layer. I feel like this ain't thin. Like, she is thick. She be thick. So let's see if we can get this off. So I'm going to attempt to try this out, you guys. I'm so excited, but yet like nervous at the same time. Oh, that is such a weird feeling. Whoa. You guys, I cannot even describe that feeling of what that feels like. Oh, that is so weird. Oh, that is just, oh, that's such a weird feeling. Uh, it just tickles. Oh, that is just beyond weird. Oh. Ooh, it tickles. It's just tickles. It feels so weird. It tickles. <laughs> but you guys, this is what it looks like. Doesn't it look so weird? Oh, that is so cool. It looks like a flower. Or like a little explosion or like a, <laughs> I don't even know, a waterfall or... I need to change out this plastic piece because it's kind of like getting harder to pick everything up, but... So you just take this off. <clears throat> so you can just take off this plastic piece. And 
then it's weird because like no matter like how much product is on here like do you guys see how much is on here I can like touch it on my face and it's like not rubbing off onto my face like because of the magnet it's like not letting it like stick to my face that's so weird uh, oh oh you don't have to use plastic it does say that you can just use like a tissue or like a paper towel I'm sure because I'm sure the magnification just so strong like it doesn't matter really like what you use but this is like my third plastic thingy so I'm gonna need at least like one to two more just to get the rest off I feel like that could be like a tiny bit wasteful because I feel like with other max um i can just use like a washcloth to wash it all off with water and soap or whatever but i do think this is super cool and i think like it's totally worth it because i don't know oh my god uh, whoa you guys my skin feels so so good like it's just so smooth and like whoa I don't know how to describe it. It just feels so soft. That is by far the coolest thing. Wow. My skin feels so soft. Oh. Okay, so the mask is all the way off, but I am just gonna like kind of like run through just to make sure that there's like nothing left on my face. It says, do not wash the face. Instead, wipe the product off um, with a clean tissue. After removing the mask, completely massage the mineral residue into the skin with your fingertips. Use twice a week AM or PM and do not use water. Alright friends, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. It was so fun to make. That product was seriously the coolest thing I've ever used. I think a magnetic mask is just like not something I would ever think of. Um, but it was super fun. I really enjoyed it and I feel like my skin truly does feel like really good. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my future videos. Bye!